our evolution yes. is not an evolution of individuals. Uh -huh. Our evolution is an individual is an evolution of community. Uh -huh. That before there were multicellular organisms on this planet, there were only single cells. Right. For billions of years, all there were were just single cells carrying out their own lives. But what happened was the cells recognized that they could increase their survival by gaining more awareness. Mm -hmm. But awareness was the membrane. Mm -hmm. So how do you gain? Well, you can either make bigger and bigger cells or you can take groups of cells, plug them together, and let their membrane share information. Right, because a membrane will only hold so, so much, and then it break apart. apart. Right. Right. The keyboard is only so big. Right, so okay. you had, we, we hooked up with other Multi cells. Okay, you to create at... a multicellular organism. So right. amoebas created us. Okay. In reality, I am a bustling community of 50 trillion amoebas working in a community, sharing jobs and labor. Why? To create a living entity that will survive. Right. Human beings, individual humans, each one of you, each one of us is a cell in a larger community mm -hmm. coming together to share awareness, to create one living organism and it would be called humanity. Okay. We are not humans until we create humanity. Uh -huh. When we create humanity, which is when we all recognize that we're all cells in the same living organism mm -hmm. and work in a coherent fashion, we have then created the next level of evolution. Mm -hmm. The evolution is not on the individual. We already have all the information capacity that we can. We can't even deal with the amount we can deal with. Right. But once we come together in community, the synergy of awareness that will be passed from one cell to the next would be the equivalent of taking a single amoeba and comparing that life of that single cell to my human body, which is a community of amoebas. So is the internet a kind of next step in this community? The internet is, is a would... definite evolutionary leap. It is the equivalent of the communication system by which all the cells of my body are coherent. Mm -hmm. So that we have an ability for all the cells in our new human body, the mm -hmm. human organization, humanity, mm -hmm. to communicate with each other and share information, which is why the cells came together in the first place. So where are we going? The, Biological evolution is fractal, mm. meaning it has a very basic formula that reiterates itself over and over again. I'll give you an example. The cell of the human, the cell of the amoeba are essentially the same cell, same structure. Right. But then you look at all the diversity of biology and you say, but, but they're all basically the same cells. Right. So the fractal is the cell. And the chaos creates all the different organizations of cells, yet they're all still based on the same fundamental unit. Okay. But then the, pro the, the issue is this, the cell, when it got to a big enough community, recapitulated itself in a community called the multicellular organism. Right. The human is a cell. Okay. Enlarged as a community, it's uh -huh. we are a cell. Okay. When a community of cells. We are community. Say. Yeah, but the human then actually is a reiteration of a cell. Okay. Point very simple. No matter how complex I am as a human, with all the functions that you ascribe to me, that. There are no new functions in my human body that are not already present in a single cell. The human is a reiteration of a cell. Everything that I do, a cell already does. I mean, it's illogical. How can I do something that a cell can't do? I'm so, cellular. So yeah. now the community of humans are... Are a multicellular organization which comes together and makes a wholeness. Okay, now, but here's the interesting part. It sort of like jumps like bootstrapping itself. One cell... Mm -hmm. later becomes a, a human, which later becomes humanity. Mm -hmm. And when humanity is complete, the Earth as an organism mm -hmm. completes its evolution. It's a living, breathing, pulsing Gaia. Uh -huh. It is now complete. When it is complete, what did when the cell completed its evolution, what was its next level of recourse? To hook up with other cells. Right. And when the human completed its evolution, what was it? To, to hook, hook up, up with, with other, other humans. humans right. When the Earth completes its evolution... Uh -huh. We are then at the level of a unity mm. with a voice of unity that allows us to speak as a one, which will allow us to speak uh, with other ones. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. That's, that's <laughs> Well, that's we're exciting. on the process. We're...